Welcome to the Daily Show. I am Russ. This is Chris. And <clears throat> you don't sound so. Let me tell you. So good. I know the flu's going around. So, oh. uh, some people up at Steph's work got it. <clears throat> and it's it's a huge thing right now. Epidemics being spread out of it. But I ain't got the flu symptoms. Did you hear about Boston? The Boston's the had 12 deaths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it is a national, like a, a emergency making people stay home stay away from people Whew. well you know the flu symptoms you know you achy you're you, you know I, I, you just kind of run a fever i don't know what this bad one is but that ain't what i got <laughs> i don't have the flu symptoms and at the end of this you kind of have a flu symptom but it's not the flu yes i kind of have the flu i'm not so much achy as i am just i feel like yucky kind of look pale too and i'm kind of pale looking and we'll go into that because last night was Wednesday night men's Bowden League. Yeah, we bow. We bow, we bow, you know. That On thing. Wednesday. Now, I was going to look up a couple stories, but I have a, I have a question. All right. I, I drink, got an answer. I drink Coors Light. You drink Dos Equis and Coors Light, whatever. They don't have Dos Equis. I drink Coors Light when y'all, when we order bulk. Yeah, because it has it, yeah. So I drink Coors Light, and I don't, you know, I'm not an everyday boozer. I'm a, you know, when we bowl or, or if we go out kind right. of thing. But after you left, we sat there and talked. Just me, Tommy, and Drew just sitting there talking. And they brought us a shot, and I took a shot of Hot Damn. Hot Damn. And I have noticed on the cruise, the, the day that I felt really bad, I drank Coors Light, and I took a shot we were out one night, I woke up like this. Do you think that it is just the liquor. Because every time I, even if it's one shot, I feel like this the next day. And I feel bad. Uh, I think, I think it's a combination uh, of it all. I think it's a combination of it all. And when you're not getting that water, yeah, you I, get dehydrated, I, that, you feel dehydrated. That's exactly how I feel. So I bet you go get you a couple bottles of water and down them real quick and you feel better with an hour well when we get done and, and you're we finish the show i'm gonna before i i'm gonna go get that water but over here we have a set piece couch i'm gonna go take a nap <laughs> i ain't gonna lie to you but I, I would still take your bottle of water okay i yeah. mean that is that's why you feel bad the next day a anybody <sighs> that anybody that's a professional and i know some professionals <laughs> guys i hydrated. want you to do me a favor i want you to hashtag us Booze hounds. Can you do that? Uh, yeah. Or do we need to do Red Sea? No, we can do booze hounds. I want booze hounds. And let me tell me what. I want to know what your hangover solution is. Yeah, I, I, I want to know that. I know what Jeremy's down at Lolita's is. It's a bowl of menudo and a big red. I, I know that. Yeah. You know. And I'm not the hair of the dog type of guy. Oh, heck no. Man, I woke up feeling bad, so I just popped me But I tell you what, I am, the, I am the guy sitting there going, man, we have any, where are we going tomorrow? <laughs> and then tomorrow shows up, and I'm like, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> You're so. excited at night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're going. Man, tomorrow. You will be there. We're going to the lay. I ain't going nowhere. I'm usually gone by the end. Well, you know, the nominations came out for Best Picture, Best Actor. Yeah, best I got them right here. I was going to read them from there, but I didn't want to have to squint. No, read them and, 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 <clears throat> and give us your pick. Now, listen, I'm going to put it on Facebook. How they did it. Kind of how they did it okay. throughout the day, and it's going to be best picture, best actor, best actress, uh, maybe supporting, but I'm going to do those three for sure. Right. To where we can go and see what our, our choices okay. are. Now, best picture, and we'll see which ones we've seen. Argo, Beast of Southern Wild, Django, La Mis, Life of Pi, Lincoln, Silver Lining Playbooks, and Zero Dark Thirty. I've seen Argo, I've seen Django, and I've seen Lincoln. I have and seen I am going with Lincoln. And Lincoln leads all nominations. Yes, I, I Of did. course, Spielberg, I mean, it's, he, he's going to get it. You knew the that Jewish when community. You, you, said that, what, you said that when it came out, it would be in the run. I've seen Django. Going to go see Les Mis in Silver Linings Playbook. Bradley Cooper and the girl from Hunger Games. It is a, they are the Eagles. Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. They, they're, they're in Philadelphia to wear the Eagles. 
It movie was set in 2008. That's the, the date it was okay. set in. And they wear in this movie Michael Vick's jersey, which he was not part. <laughs> Nasi Amdawa, which he was not part. So it is a big kind of, hey, come on, if y'all gonna do that story. That's like putting a, right. that's like saying an address and it being a different that's address crazy. when they pull up. That's crazy. So I'm going with Lincoln. Okay. You hadn't seen many of them. Uh, best actor, Bradley Cooper, Silver Linings Playbook. Daniel Day Lewis, Lincoln. Denzel Washington, Flight. Hugh Jackman, La Mies. And Joaquin Phoenix, The Master. Chris Hoke liked the master, but he said it was weird. But he's weird. He's weird. So Y'all see when he does his movie review. Yeah, he's man. weird. But uh, I love Daniel Day-Lewis. I thought he was Lincoln. He felt like Lincoln. Everybody has said that. Best actress, Emmanuel Rivera, Amor. I think she's like 85. Yeah. Jennifer Lawrence, Silver Lining Playbooks, Jess Jessica Chastain, uh, Zero Dark Thirty, Naomi Watts, Impossible. And a let girl I can't say that's nine years old and beast of Southern Wild. Something Wallace. I didn't see any of those. But we won't go through the other one other than Sally Field and Lincoln, which I saw. Tommy Lee Jones. Alan Arkin in Best Supporting Act and and Actor. But I think uh, Christopher Waltz and Django uh, is my agree. choice. But I'm glad he got Tommy Lee Jones. I am surprised. I, I, dang, he may win that. I am surprised Leonardo did not get a nomination off of his role of Django because he was good. Leonardo's always good. He but I will tell you good. this. Yeah. I will tell you this. The Golden Globes to me means more. I, I, the Golden Globes gets it right for me. That, the The... The Academy Awards, they, they, they go off, off the wall yeah. sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Golden Globes is usually kind of what the people think. Well, three things. Wounded, Cowboy and Lucky, Live or Die, neither one are on that list. So at this point, well, we excluded ourselves from it. Okay. We told so them don't even. Submit. Yeah, I, I didn't even submit it okay. because I wanted these people to okay. have a chance. Okay, I, I'm totally. They get paid a lot more money, so I want to worry about that. Yeah. Makes great, perfect sense. Mm -hmm. But we're fixing to find out what movie Hoke is picking for you to see. Those two. Anyway, hey, let's talk about the movie of the week. This movie of the week, some of you, probably most of you have not heard of. It was an art uh, film. It, was, it hit the film festival circuit. It's called Compliance. It came out on DVD this week. I checked it out. Interesting note about this movie. Kind of like us, the director started off on the internet. There's a website called Homestar Runner. Some of you might be aware of. It's a cartoon website. He's one of the guys behind it. And so kind of like us starting the internet, going into features, he did the same thing. And he has an art film festival hit on his hands called Compliance. Real short, based on true life events, girl works at a fast food restaurant, cop calls on the phone, says, hey, she stole money. Do a strip search on her. Well, why are you doing that? Why don't you do a few other two things? And guess what? The manager's... Do it. It's crazy. It's intense. Check it out. Compliance. And the director's name is, by the way, Craig Zobel. So shout out to Craig Zobel. You're a kindred spirit to us. And the Oscars were released this morning. Let me see here. Real quick, I've seen four of the Best Picture nominees. So to be fair, I haven't seen them all. But more than likely, my early guess, this probably will change closer we get the Oscars, my early guess says they're going to go with Les Miserables. Why? Because the musical, it's Hugh Jackman. He's a Hollywood favorite. He's an Academy, loves him. He's hosted it a couple times. They just, they, they like their own. My early pick, plus, by the way, him for Best Actor, too, for the same reasons. So, all right, that's my early pick. I'll give you my final pick the closer we get to the Oscars. Back to you, Chris and Russ. Told y'all. That's why I watch Pitch Perfect Lee. and I watch him. Uh, Lee, yeah, he's, he's explained in depth a little bit more to that movie that he saw, and I just won't be one that I. Yeah, I, it's not on my watch list. Yet. But for you, and I am a movie buff, but I'm a, I, I don't think I'm the true, I will watch. You know, you are you are the action, action, 
or you are the popcorn movie guy. Pop, yes. The totally. here comes the boom, pitch perfect, those yes, type movies. You're absolutely right. I'm not a deep guy. I know you guys think that, but I'm really not. Would you yeah. agree with that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Every day I agree with that. <laughs> All right, man. <clears throat> Our weather guy, Jim White, should be here. Should start tomorrow, I think. I'm hoping. I got my fingers crossed. I'm excited about that. And uh, do you have anything? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you one more thing before you give that sneak peek. No more spots left in the football. We went, we went, added a few more people. So there's going to be a few more people sad that they're not getting to play, but there are no more spots. It's our first one. So if this goes great and we can have two fields next year and, and more people, we'll do it. But, hey, come out, support, have fun. We're going to have a blast. And speaking of us having fun and having a blast, check out some footage from last night at Men's Bowling League. Until, I guess, tomorrow afternoon, I'm Russ and this is Chris. All right, we're at the Bowling Alley Men's League, and I know, go ahead, go ahead, Kenneth. We're, uh, we're doing okay. Chris, how we doing? <laughs> Who, hey. me? Stop, stop right there. Jason, how'd you do? I did all right. You did all right. You did good. Tommy. I'm making it, man. I ain't doing worth shit, but I'm making it. Money. Get that camera out of my face. <laughs> Get that son of a bitch out of my face, man. Let me tell you what bowling night is for us. <laughs> hey, that's our league bowling night. Jason bowled us. 255? 251. 251. Same difference. I'm about to put it on Facebook right now. Same difference for the people on this side. <laughs> Those guys ain't that big So a that's what we do on Wednesday nights, man. Hope you guys enjoy. And now back to Chris and Russ. You know what? I'm just a bowler strike. Get that up in the bowler strike. <laughs> now sometimes in bowling, when the people that don't drink beer, like Kenneth, <laughs> bowl on the wrong side, stuff gets messed up. So at some point, Kenneth has to start drinking. All right, I'm gonna bowl a strike. Kenneth, can I bowl a strike? What has happened at this point in the game? <laughs> yeah, we're having to have the pencil whip the scoreboard. <laughs> I was fishing a roller strike. Now my mojo might be off. Hang tight. That's how you do it on league night bowling. Peace out.